Hi everyone, I've often been asked how to paint white fur and the simple answer is that you just don't paint white. You paint various colors that will look like white. There's also no pat answer for this since every subject can be different. And in this reference photo that I got on Pixabay, there were various colors from blues to browns and creams and all of these put together in a certain way created the white fur that you'll see at the end of this sped up version of a full tutorial that I have on my Patreon. And other subjects with white fur might have different colors that need to be painted. It all boils down to closely observing and analyzing your subject before you begin and breaking down what colors you'll need. When you see this tiger at the end, you'll know it's a white tiger, but I didn't use any pure white anywhere in this painting, not one bit. The lightest color in the fur here is a very pale blue. I also added bits of cream by using some Naples yellow in certain areas and I also added small amounts of brown here and there also by glazing at the end. As for the brushes that I use to get fine details in my fur, I like to first start off by painting big after my initial underpainting. By this I mean larger brush strokes, so in this case I use the number 8 filbert. The finest details were saved for the end and I used small zero and number two round brushes as well as a zero liner. Pressure is also important. Too much pressure results in blobs being laid down or thicker brush strokes that don't give you the fine hairs that you are going for. So make sure to always use very light pressure when you're trying to paint fine details like fine hairs. And you'll also notice that I flip my painting around a lot as I work. If my hand is at an awkward angle, I'm not going to be able to properly lay down my strokes. They'll be skewed and not go in the exact direction that I want them to. So I always flip my work around at some point no matter what I'm painting. And with animals, I always flip while working on heads and foreheads as well as the sides. It just makes things so much easier. And now I'll just let the video play for you.
And now here's the final painting. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I'll put the link for my Patreon in the description below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, and hit that little bell so you get notifications. And thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, take care.